Saturday, August 15th in Japan, a, de a date met with sorrow and relief. Sister cities Nagaoka, Nagaoka and Honolulu are observing the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II in the Pacific with ceremonies in Pearl Harbor this weekend. Our Pamela Young reports from the private commemoration and tribute to the victims of war. Few here were alive 70 years ago when nearly 1,500 lives were lost in Nagaoka. Fewer still four years earlier when more than 2,400 lives were lost in this harbor. And yet the events that started and ended the Pacific War remain vivid in our memories. We are grateful that the time of peace we share long overshadows our season of war. Three wreaths honor the fallen from the armed forces, the city of Honolulu, and the city of Nagaoka. Paper cranes fashioned by Japanese grade school students show the way to a new plaque recognizing 70 years of peace. By bringing us together, and I mean us by all of us between our two great countries of Japan and the United States in the middle of the Pacific is an incredibly beautiful thing. Having experienced the misery of war, our two cities have come together to realize this wonderful event. And these two cities are joined by more than a sister city agreement. Both have seen the devastation of war, both now dedicated to finding a better solution to conflict. A moment of silence honors the military and civilian casualties of World War II before a final floral tribute, this one in the sky. The first blossom for the American victims of war. The second for the Japanese fallen. And the third, a prayer for peace and the end of all wars. Organizers hope that this demonstration of friendship will send a message that if two former enemies can join in the respectful remembrance, perhaps present day peace can be achieved around the world. At Fort Island, Pamela Young, KITV4 News. Such a beautiful message there. Tomorrow evening, the event is open to the public. The ceremony starts at 7 o'clock. The 20 minute fireworks show begins at 8.